Welcome to Moose TV. These are insane jobs you didn't even know existed. Now, this guy, he destroys buildings, and of course, he did vacate the entire area before doing so. And this way, they can start a new construction. Ordinary girl, but wait, she's a mermaid. That's right, she's literally a mermaid. She goes underwater. Of course, she got some air. You know, that's just kind of how it works. And uh, the only thing is, the manta rays are kind of sus. And if there are sharks in there, yo, sign me out. No, thank you, man. And these two guys are literally F1 mechanics. It's kind of cool, we've just been in the pit the whole entire time. And next thing you know, yay, sending it. That's how it's done. Honestly, I always wanted to be a race car driver. Meanwhile, my friend over here does hydro dipping. As you can see, he's kind of dipping the cannon there. He's pretty much explaining himself, honestly. But watch this. Now, when he pulls it out, boom, oh, it's got a cool pattern. How awesome is this? You can do carpet fiber and anything you pretty much want. Meanwhile, my boy over here be counting up racks. Straight up. All he's got to do is take the money out, put it in the money counter, and that's it. The rest is done. So I got to say, it's a pretty cool job. But let me know, what is your favorite job and what would you like to do in the future? This cool job is a little bit different. Okay, so she's, I guess like she's cutting uh, something. I don't even know what's happening, honestly. But uh, yeah, it's... It's definitely interesting. This person may be welding things. Meanwhile, my girl's got a roll of grass, I guess. I'm not really too sure what that is. Let me know if you know what that is. This low key reminds me of Minecraft right here. So they're kind of creating something. Okay, they're melting some metal, I guess, or something. All right, now we're adding in some sort of a material. Got the shapes ready. All right, and then just pour it in. Wait for it to dry. And you got yourself a mold for something. Hydro dipping Camaro parts, my boy be hydro dipping. This time, car parts instead of rims and other things. But as you can see, it's got a pretty cool pattern. Now, normally people don't do this because it is expensive, but it is what it is. Oh, it is please. what it is. It is, it is what it is. is. <laughs> so, what does this person do? Are they creating keys? Oh, okay. It's a little bit different. Makes sense, makes sense. So, you open something up, and then what? <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's the ATM, bro. What was I thinking? This dude's job is pretty much opening ATMs and taking the money out. So, you can see, you got to move the two locks. It's not a normal ATM machine that I, I mean, I've never seen this before at least, but as you can see, open it up, take it all out, and boom, you got access to the ATM. But she's supposedly a bridesmaid. Interesting. All right. Well, her job is to be a bridesmaid or something like that. <laughs> I think you're doing a good job. Have you ever heard of like sheep murdering or something like that when you have a dog and you just kind of controls of the sheep? I feel like this is a little bit different. It's just a bunch of dogs. So I'm not sure what they be doing, but my boys over there are leading a pack of dogs. And this guy be blowing things up, straight up. Look at that. Boom. So what did he make? I'm not sure this is honestly a job. Yeah, I would not recommend doing this. He pretty much is just removing snake skin. Uh, ooh. Is that a black mamba? Oh, no, thank you, bro. Today's not my day to die. It's a baby moose. Let's go. Yo, this would be my job right here, man. Raising my own baby mooses. Dude, honestly, that'd be sick. We should get one. <laughs> What about a woodcutting job? Definitely different, and it's kind of sus. I just always feel like I'm gonna like get shredded. I don't know why, but yeah, just gotta shred some wood. There you go. It's in the wood chipping. Okay, this is different. Got a 3D printer making some kind of a statue. Oh, it's a lamp. It's a lamp. Confirmed. Lamp making job. Now that is sick. I did not expect that one. Ooh man, you probably already know what this is just by looking at it. Okay, so his job is to make sure this goes down perfectly fine. Yo, imagine this. You're super high up. You gotta get to the top, and you're not supposed to fall. I mean, you are strapped in, but you never know what can happen. Something can malfunction. We got an artist making a really, really cool looking octopus on a surfboard. I always want to custom things like this, so definitely a cool job to have. Cool summer job. Male boat jumper. Uh, oh. Wait, what? That's a job? I didn't expect that. Meanwhile, this person makes sure it's on. Or something like that. <laughs> and he's making sure that everything's working. Now, that's an exotic job. You're in the middle of nowhere at an exotic island or something, right? And you're the guy that's making people swing. You gotta jump from there, swing, and make the other person go further. Would you do this job? All you gotta do is jump and help people swing on a giant swing. Yeah, it's, it's definitely very, very different. More of like a uh, exotic type of thing, you know what I mean? What about a... Okay. Ah. That's pretty cool. Interesting. All right. So he's making different colors. Pretty cool. It's so satisfying, Loki, just like staring at it. Yeah. I would completely mess this up, honestly. <laughs> okay. I see you. Wow. I hope you guys have Now that is satisfying. What about having a job to test out armored film? Yeah. Making sure that it's, you know, indestructible or something. I think it's a, it's, it's a great way to like let your rage out. Can you guess what this job is? Comment down below. Okay. All right. Wow. That is so sick. I would just straight up fall into the water. <laughs> Do you think his job is hard? Comment down below. Now, it's kind of heavy though, but he's got a little process going here. You know what I mean? 
It's totally like an ab workout. And don't forget, each of those are over 25 pounds. Washing solar panels. I haven't seen this before. I'm not sure that that was even a thing. Is this a real job? Come on, let's get real here. It could be real. It could be real. Think about it. This person's like literally a Ghostbuster, <laughs> but they're making sure that you can figure out what color is what. Yeah, it's kind of different. <clears throat> I'm built different. Now, telling the color of a sunset is it's definitely not normal, but it is what it is. It is what it is. It is, it is what it is. <laughs> all right, she's got all the colors. And there you go. This is so trippy. But hey, pretty cool creation. And that's how the color palette was invented. A person walking around with a giant vacuum cleaner, figuring out what color is what. What is he transporting? Wait. Oh! It's a shark in there! Alright, so this person's job is to transport sharks. Definitely very interesting here. I feel kind of bad for the shark though. Now, what's the most random job you've ever had? <laughs> this, is, this is his job. It's not that bad. You kind of do something like a mascot or like being on a plate. As a concert photographer, here's one of my favorite experiences. That is sick, dude. So they're just pretty much a photographer for celebrities and people that are musicians, of course. Definitely really awesome, though. Would you do this? As a concert photographer, here's some of my favorite experiences. As you can see, he takes photos of celebrities, musicians, and other people. Ariana Grande, right? Machine Gun Kelly, okay? And that's all I know. <laughs> that's, that's literally all I know. I don't know who anybody else is. <laughs> But yeah, it's still a pretty cool job to have for sure. All right, that's pretty awesome. Okay, so what are you, what are you doing? I am very confused. I'm sorry, I think that's not her job. Oh, oh, I get it now, bro. Her job is to literally make footsteps. Footsteps. That's right. It took me a minute. All right, that's it, boys. Wrap it up. Making trippy glass. So this person is creating glass, as you can see, adding layers, and that thing is super hot, almost to a point where it pretty much moves. And that's the final result. Absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if it's gonna turn out that great. Gorgeous! Um, I'm so proud. Yo, that is so trippy, actually. Wow. The Museum of Glass. Okay, so this job is a little bit different. That's a lot of keys. That is a lot of keys. So how does this exactly work? Now, this person, I'm pretty sure they work at an escape room. As you can see, there's a ton of keys here. All right, they're just kind of like putting it all together in a pile. But watch this. Okay, they got it all. Now, they're gonna close it up. And they gotta figure out which of those keys gets you out of here. So yeah, pretty uh, interesting way to go about this. Definitely not a good time if you're stuck in there. Oh man, oh no. Yo, the anxiety. Oh, I don't know. Do you imagine there actually being a timer and if you don't get the timer, you're done for? That's pretty sus. She got the key. That's it, she's got it all. All right, now throw it out. <laughs> and everything is completely locked up and ready to go. Bro, there's more locks? What? Okay. All right, come on. What are we, like in Saw? This person works at a water park while this person feeds birds. Ah! Yeah, so you get your whatever you need, you know, the bird food, okay? And just kind of chuck it and they'll eat it. Oh, never mind. It literally comes to your hand. That's kind of cool. This is a very particular painting job. As you can see, it might look like it's like kind of messed up, but no, it's actually the part of the painting. It's like a special effect of a painting in a way. As you can see, very, very small details to make things look that way. What about a stitching job? Very, very patient here. As you can see, oh, service dog. Pretty cool. Look how high up he is. As you can see, he's ready to get hooked into the actual helicopter. Now, once he's hooked in, he can step off the actual, you know, building and such. Well, the giant electrical tower. <laughs> and there you go, you're on the helicopter, no problem at all. <laughs> ah, very sus. Check this out. That is a giant playhouse. Yeah, and they're pretty much builders of giant playhouses, as you can see. Very, very interesting, for sure. It's actually very similar to the podcast that like, I designed in my house. But as you can see, it's just a little bit more, well, actually, way more complex. It's a massive playhouse. Like, you don't normally see this, you know what I mean? That's for sure. So this is, a, this is an actual treehouse version, apparently. What? It's pretty much what you see instead of Disney World. And watch this. Yeah, that's how they actually move the buildings. Boom! A magical wonderland. If you want this in your backyard, well, there you go. <laughs> That's pretty cool, you gotta admit. And everything inside is all extremely detailed. Ooh, this is gonna get me hungry. So this person is a baker, but they actually make donuts. Who doesn't love donuts? Look at these. Oh man, that is so satisfying. Yo, I would make donuts all day. And can you figure out this last job right here? Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's kind of confusing. Maybe it's a spaceship, who knows, honestly. But he opens something up and he's going inside. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and stop the bell. But anyways, click this video right here and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new one. Yay!